Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here, and I have a fun layout using the new Felicity Jane kit. So if you saw my last video, you saw me talk about these printed shapes. So I've gone ahead and fussy cut them all out. It really didn't take me very long. I would say it probably took me like 10 minutes or, I don't know, like maybe one and a half YouTube videos, because that's kind of how I gauge time when I'm in my craft room is by YouTube videos, because that's what I watch. Um, anyhow, I'm just kind of going through, and I'm... I went ahead and punched a little hole in that tag and then tied some of the string through it. I'm looking to see if there's something that I can cover the word thanks with. It, that's kind of part of the packaging, but I thought it was so cute I wanted to use it. I don't end up using it in this layout, but I might use it in a future project. So I'm just going to get a little dish here to put all of these fun goodies in that I've already cut apart. And um, also the wood veneer and the little things that come in the little pillow box. I like to keep everything from a kit kind of all in one place so that I can see at a glance like what all I have to work with. It's just the way I, I work best. So I'm now I'm going back and I'm picking out things that I think I'm going to use on my layout. And I do this in most uh, process videos or most projects that I make. I'll kind of go through it, like an initial pass and say I may, I think I might use this. Now keep in mind I haven't picked my papers yet so I don't that's kind of a reverse order. I I had two pictures in the beginning that I'm not sure if you saw, but they were both from my wedding, I believe. One was a close-up picture of our rings, and the other one was a picture of our cake. And I'm there they are. And I'm going to end up using the picture of our cake. This is this was probably one of my favorite photographs just because I loved the cake so much. I I love the detail of the ruffles on it and then the flowers and the little topper. Anyhow, I'm going on about our cake, but um, back to the layout. So if, if you've seen some of my videos before and seen my wedding videos or project videos, you know my colors were cream or white, coral like a, or light pink, and mint green. So when I saw this kit, I was like, oh, I have to do some wedding pictures. This kit is perfect. And I loved the black and white um additions to it because it kind of modern makes it more a little bit more modern I think um, I don't know I just really really liked it so I'm just basically building some layers behind the photograph this is going to be one of those layouts that the photograph goes right in the center and I add some embellishments around it and it just kind of builds from there and I do it on white cardstock and I'm gonna put a border around the edge so I'm just going through the different embellishments right now. This is kind of my process. I Things never end up the way that I start, but this one ends up pretty close. I, I This is one of my faster layouts. Sometimes I just can knock them out quickly and sometimes it just takes me a really long time. This one came, came together pretty quickly. I think it might be because sometimes in a kit you'll get a pack of embellishments that has like a hundred and something pieces and that's just sometimes that's too many decisions for me. That's why I think it takes me longer. I would, I think I work more quickly and I I think I stay more true to like my style, I guess, when I have less choices, if that makes sense. But the paper enthusiast in me is completely overjoyed when I see all those choices. So there's, you know, pluses and minuses to everything. This one just happened to be that it came together quickly for me. So I'm going to use the little wood veneer and put the title Eat Cake on right on the photograph, which in hindsight, I don't know why I didn't proceed with a little more caution when doing that. So I have kind of distressed my edges and I like to crinkle up my paper, like ball it up and then to give it like some texture. And then I use a glue gun, which gives it a little bit of dimension without using a whole bunch of foam dots. So I'm just taking these tags and I'm using this glue gun. This glue gun that I have, I've replaced the pink one, the battery one that didn't work very well. But this thing is so hot. You have to be so careful with it. And if you use a glue gun on your layout and you have those little stringy things, all you need to do is take your heat gun or your embossing tool and um, run over the little strings and they like disappear. It's awesome. Anyhow, so I'm just... Like I said, I crinkled up that paper and distressed the edges, and I'm just kind of layering it. That paper, I also put a scallop, like, or a lacy kind of scallopy edge with a border punch. So here's my photograph, and 
yes, I put glue on it, but there's vellum behind it, so it didn't go directly onto the photograph. And here's that big floral die cut that I'm putting in the left-hand corner. I've also gone ahead and adhered some of those that confetti, and here is that um, stitched part that held the die cuts together, sort of, and I think it makes the cutest detail because I didn't have to pick up my sewing machine. It was already done for me. So I also cut down my white paper and I cut the center out of that kind of chevroni looking paper or triangle paper and use that as a mat and you'll see that in the photographs better. So now I'm just adhering the wood veneer down. I believe to do that I used the Ranger multi matte medium and the paintbrush if I remember correctly. I think that's what I used. I also used that to adhere the confetti or sequins, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that's what I use because there it is right there. What's great about that is that if you get it onto your picture, it dries clear. So now I'm taking some SCI tumble dye. This is just a, it's like a fabric dye, I think, that you can get at like any major craft store. And it's a great mint green color. So here's some close-ups of the layout. I want to thank Felicity Jane for sending this kit to me. It's awesome. I'll have some more projects coming up. I made a really cute shaker card. And y'all check it out. I'll have the link below to the website and all the information that you'll need. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.